Hey everyone, this is John from Show Me Pickers, and today we're going to be in the basement once again pulling orders. We have a ton of stuff to pull. We sold a lot of stuff over the past two days, and we are going to get these orders packed up and get them out to our customers. And I want to let you guys know that we have also started recording videos for a second site. We have a sister site over on odyssey.com. It's O-D-Y-S-E-E dot -E -E com. And we are uploading videos over there as well, and we are doing at least one video on that side a week that will not be uploaded to YouTube. There will be a link below in the description. If you would, go over and give us a follow over there if you would like more content. So let's jump right into this. Let's get these orders pulled so we can get them packed, and I can get back to listing. See you guys in a minute. Okay, Megan, what is the first item that we sold? It is Avon Turn 4XT Cologne Spray. Oh, okay. I already went and pulled it. I knew what it was. Mm -hmm. This is it right here. How much did it sell for? 18 free shipping. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Okay. Is that it? Looks right. How much did it sell for? $18 plus shipping. $18 plus shipping. Uh, it's an MGB. It's uh, one of the, they call them the, the little midget convertibles. They are really neat. Uh, we sold it. It sat around for quite a while, but I'm finally glad to see it's going to a good home. That did sit around for a while. I think I've had that listed for probably about a year, but it's going home. The next item that we sold was this big, heavy water meter cover. That thing weighs a ton. Um, I bought this at an auction. And holy crap, eh, it's Wabash, Indiana. But what's weird about it is that it's going GSP, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know what country it's going to? I haven't looked. Okay, well, that's no big deal. But how much did it sell for? $50 plus shipping. Not too bad. That's pretty crazy. Who, who in the world from another country wants a water meter cover? I'm not judging. It's just a weird item to sell. Okay, guys, we sold two of these ps2 memory cards they went to two different buyers so i'm guessing that other people must be running out of them because we're finally starting to sell them and uh, how much did they sell for 13 dollars or 12 dollars each not too bad okay the next item that we have here is these lot of three litter genies uh somebody's gonna have a pretty happy kitty cat yeah, we have five kitty cats. We have way too many cats. Um, they sold for how much? 25 free shipping. That's not too bad. I think we pay like a buck a piece for them, so I'll take that. Okay, these uh, telephones travel more than my wife does. Uh, how much did they sell for this time? Uh, 47.96. Is that shipped? Yes. Okay, 47.96. And they are Panasonic. It's the phone. It's got three phones. Two satellite phones and one uh, like with the answering machine and stuff. These sell really good. If you're ever out and about and you see these, pick them up. And a lot of the Goodwills and the Salvation Armies don't really mark them up too much. So there's a lot of profit in that. Your arm getting tired? Yeah. Okay, we have another one of these eyeshadows here that we sold. And uh, it sold on Macari. I think it sold for like 12 bucks plus shipping. So that's not too bad. We'll take that. We still got a ton of those to get rid of. Okay, the next item that we have here is this Pennzoil. It was right there on top because it was the last item I listed. This Pennzoil hat. How much did it sell for? Um, $15. $15. Not too bad. Okay, the next item that we have is this filter here. It was just listed two days ago. How much did it sell for? $23. If you're out and about and you are looking for stuff to sell that's really weird that Goodwill typically doesn't mark up, these refrigerator filters are a perfect example of that. And you can make really good money by buying some of them, selling them. It's really good if you can get them in lots of more than one. They sell in twos really good. But any type of filter, always scan them with your eBay app and see what they sell for. Next item that we have here are these great <laughs> the Illustrated Classics. 
Uh, the ones that I tell you guys all the time to pick up if you can find them, I'll take those. We got old Anna Green Gables there. Um, and then she's got those. And I don't know how many of them there were. There's 11. 11? How much did they sell for? Um, $40 total. 40 bucks for those books, people. I'm telling you, these are great books. I think this is like the third set that we've sold in like the past couple months uh, so yeah I, we just sold one not too long ago right so if you find these be sure to pick them up they are sellers all the way okay took a minute to find these but we've got a lot of these toys here these are what they call penny racers you stick a penny in the back of them and uh they do like willies and stuff how much did they sell for 50 dollars plus shipping 50 bucks Woo, put them down girl they hot there it is right there. We've got this crown candy print. I don't know who the name of the guy who did it is. Richard Long. Richard Long. Because I have this one. And the customer messaged me and they go, uh, do you have two of these? And I'm like, I don't know. Like, this is the only one that I had. And then the other one that we had is this one here. And apparently we did have, we did have two of them. Who would have known? I don't know. I, I had no idea that we had two of them. I think I have that one listed under the wrong name. So such as life how much did this sell for that one sold for 20. we've got that one listed for 45 but i think we're going to take 20 on it as well if they want both of them and that would be a 40 dollars sale not too bad okay here is the next item that we have it's these five nights at freddy's they are five dollars free shipping it is what it is. okay guys i have three stickers actually throwing in an extra sticker since he bought two what is the gentleman's name Sammy Chapman. So Sammy Chapman, thank you very much for buying those stickers from us. You got them from us on eBay. We have like a little merch category in our eBay store now. And he bought two stickers from us. And we're going to include a free sticker uh, for you. Because you were the first person to buy any of our stickers. Which is really awesome. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. You fed a redhead, a fat guy, and three hoodlums. Thank you very much, brother. Small zoo. Yeah, our small zoo. Five cats and two dogs. <laughs> okay, guys, this is everything we sold over the past two days. We've got these two prints right here. We've got the cologne. We've got the little cars. We've got the MGB manual, the basic itch. We've got the stickers. Thank you again very much. We've got the uh, little uh, memory cards. We've got the Pennzoil hat. We've got that Wabash Indiana meter cover going out of the country. We've got the kitty litter genie uh, refills. We've got this phone. We've got this water filter. You've got those uh, invitations. We've got a small uh, arrangement of car parts here. That's actually for a projector. We've got this Crayola set that my wife sold on her account. Got a couple of lights here and that set of books and it all, how much was everything? $4.95. 495 bucks. That is absolutely insane for two days. Um, I'll take it, especially for us in January. I mean, in December and November, we were doing that like every day, but you know what? This will do. I'm not greedy and I hope some of my really good friends out there got some good sales too over the weekend. So appreciate you guys very much. If you would go down below and uh, be sure to smash that like button if you like the items that we sold. And remember folks, this stuff isn't always the most interesting. I mean, really is genie, uh, cat genie, litter genie, Refill is exciting. No, but it's what pays the bills. It's not comic books. It's not, you know, action figures. You know, it's not sports memorabilia, but this is the stuff that you will be able to go out and consistently find that your Goodwills and that your Salvation Armies and your local thrift shops will pass over almost every time. It's how I've built my business. And we sold over a hundred thousand dollars worth of stuff last year. So if I've earned your subscription, go down below and hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out. Hey everyone, it's John from Show Me Pickers and I wanted to discuss with you guys a situation that I had happen to me. It was actually today and a little bit earlier this month. I have had two buyers who have messaged me complaining about their items and uh, hinting around that they want some kind of refund, some kind of concession for whatever uh, idea they think that they've been wronged or however they think that their item wasn't as described. And on both occasions, I dug my heels in. They were quite expensive items. And I told them that I would just be more than happy for you guys to send the item back to me because I know that I can resell it and make, in one case, it was the Sonic 
a youth hat that the guy said that I said it was from 1993. He says it was not from 1993. I asked him to prove it. He couldn't. And then he just kept saying he wanted the hat, but he wanted some money back. And I told him, I said, I would just much rather have my hat back. And the second one was a Barbie item that I had that I sold for over $300. And the uh, customer was complaining about a defect that was in the photographs. We tell people that the photographs is an integral part of our item. We did not know that it was a defect because we are not Barbie clothing experts. But we know that when someone's paying $300 for Barbie clothes, that they probably are an expert. So we always point uh, on really expensive items for people to go look and check out those photos and then ask any questions so that we can answer them. And in that case, she didn't. So we get a message stating that she wasn't happy, that there was an issue with the item, and that she said that she would like to know would we rather send the item back or would they, we be willing to give her a small concession? And I was just definite that, you know, just send it back because I had already cut her like $70 off the price. And I just knew that if I got that item back that I would be able to resell that for the same amount of money, if not more. And when, in the first case, when we were definite and told the guy, finally said, just send it back. We're no longer gonna communicate about this. The guy went away never heard from them and no negative feedback, no neutral feedback on those items. And on the Barbie item, we're still dealing with the situation. I think the lady finally has said that she's going to keep it when she realized that we weren't gonna give her any money back and she did not wanna send it back because she knows that she got a good deal on that item. So my question is to you guys, is what do you do in situations like that? Are you willing to give the buyer money back? Do you dig your heels in? Um, typically on expensive items, I feel that if they're asking for money back, that they wanna keep the item. If they were wanting to send that item back, they would have went and opened up a return. And that's how I differentiate between people who are speculating that I'm going to give them some money back versus people that are just don't want the item. If they didn't want it, they'd open up a return and I would be dealing with that as we speak. So either way, I'm pretty happy. A $300 sale will not make or break me. And uh, at the end of the day, it's all relative to eBay. But I would love to know, how would you guys deal with a situation like that? How do you guys deal with buyers who are trying to get you to give them money back? for stuff that really isn't your fault. Let me know down below, I'd really be interested. And I wanna thank you guys for watching the video today. If you haven't already, go down and hit that like button and be sure to subscribe to the channel. We're almost to 6,000 subs. I'd have never thought that we would have grown that large. I appreciate everyone who watches my content. God bless you guys, keep on digging, keep on picking. And as we always say, the family who picks together, sticks together. God bless you guys.